second day in pads here at UCI for Rams training camp. Welcome to Inside Rams Camp, presented by Unified Financial Credit Union. Now the defense was flying around, and especially this guy, number 53. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside J.B. Long, and joining us today is none other than Ernest Jones. Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. How good does it feel to get through week one, and all of a sudden this defense is starting to make some big-time plays? It feels great. I'm um, just looking forward to the continuous progress that we have. Um, just looking forward to guys getting better and getting ready to go out there and compete. A couple follow-ups for you that have to do with your NFL Network mic'd up moment from Welcome Back Saturday, yeah. okay? First of all, <laughs> can we finally acknowledge that I know your job is difficult, right? Playing football is not the easiest thing to do in the world. But how about talking for a living, right? No, that was tough. <laughs> that was most definitely <laughs> tough, just talking, trying not to show y'all how tired I was, truly. <laughs> were you really winded or were you playing that up? I was winded. Okay, now the other thing, Cameron's a great golfer. I try a little bit, oh, too. I'm but you, you, you really out. want Steph Curry? I want the smoke. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you asked. I, I really do. Oh, he, I get he got it, a hole-in-one. He, he eagled 18 to win a real event? See, that's what scares a lot of people. But me, I love that competition. I love that. Do you have a handicap? What's your handicap? See, we're not going to talk about that. Right <laughs> no, it, just, we'll, we'll leave that until next year. Ask what's me the again strongest next year. point of your game? <laughs> putting and anything. I, putting and chipping. I can get up and down and... If I, can, if I can beat him there, then I, I'm golden. I can get down there, it's too. It's a good foundation. I like it. I still need to see this swing before we uh, get any further into the golf ranks. Oh, yeah. I want to see this. Got you. Uh, but, Ernest, I'm also very curious. I think there maybe couldn't have been a better environment for you in year one and year two just in terms of a learning environment. Right. Year one with Vaughn Miller, year two with Bobby Wagner. Mm. What were some of the biggest lessons you've learned through the first two seasons with the Los Angeles Rams? I always tell people I, I've seen the best of both worlds of coming in and winning the Super Bowl and then coming in last year and not making it to the playoffs. But in both of those instances, I've learned so much. For Vaughn, you just learn how to be a champion. You learn what it truly takes to be a champion. And he's done it twice now. So definitely was great to you know learn from him. And then Bobby just taught me how to be a leader for sure. Even when things aren't going well, just continuing to just push guys and continuing to just keep everybody up and uplifted. So, What would it mean to you? to be named a captain of this team. Oh, it mean everything to me, man. Mm -hmm. I, I tell these guys all the time, man, I love these boys, like, these, these men, like, I, I'd do anything for them, and for them to vote me and think of me that highly, that, that'd be amazing to me. You did that in college? Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, it is a spot as a leader on this team. It's one for you to step into. So what gives you confidence to step into that with a big-time play in terms of your ability and your ability to lead this team? Um, I, I know I can go out there and execute on the field, but for the most part, I want to you know I want these guys to know that I'm, I'm there for them at any point in time outside of football as well. And just being able to be someone they call their leader is just that'd be truly just special to me. And I and I've I've grown into this role, and I always say I've been built for this, so I I'd, I'd enjoy it for sure. Do you feel? Oh, sorry, JB, but do you feel like there has been an identity starting to take shape on the defensive side of the ball? And if so, what are some of the rocks or pillars of that foundation? I definitely think so. I, I, especially starting in OTAs, I'd say like our energy is unmatched. I don't think no one will come out here and have more energy on the defensive side of the ball. And we're young. We're all out there trying to make a name for ourselves. So our energy and just we just care. We truly do care about each other. And we, we care not to let each other down. So. For the most part, energy and just, just for the most part, we're just trying to stay disciplined and make sure that we can go out there and dominate how we should. Name drop on us. Who are some of those rookies who have <laughs> Man, made their those. first impression? You got Tomlinson, the cornerback. I love love the way he's playing. The entire D-line, like you can't – they couldn't have drafted or picked a bunch of undrafted guys that could truly come in and nice. step in and help you right off the bat. So, I mean, all these guys are showing me – just sparks. Byron Young is really impressive. Love watching him play. So I'm excited about all of them. Their first opportunity at SoFi Stadium is coming up less than two weeks away. Right. I can't believe it's finally here. Do you remember that first drive of your first preseason game? I do. I do. <laughs> Coach Raw was messing with the headset on me. <laughs> How far have you two come in your partnership? Oh, man, we're, we're, we're a lot. We're far along than when we were our, our rookie year. I know at times I didn't get his humor at first, but now yeah. I do, and we just we just laugh everything off, and we know when we're trying to be serious and get things done. Helps when you can hear him in your helmet, yeah, right? That that's does kind help. of that's that key. Okay. So what, give us a little bit of a behind-the-scenes look. What does it look like to work underneath someone like Ra? Uh, I mean, it's 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 a joy. I mean, you never you kind of never know when he's being serious or not. He always has a joke. He's always saying something in the mic and. I always say he kind of talks a little too much because he'll, <laughs> he'll give all the details in, in the mic for me. So I love playing for him. I have a couple questions about uh, overlooked or over 
underappreciated Rams. Okay, you ready? Yep. I watched it today, and it dawned on me. The most overlooked piece of the Rams pass rush in 2023 is Ernest Jones. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. You can play on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Definitely. When you're looking for people to team with Aaron Donald, go get the opposing quarterback, that can be you, right? Right. And the other one is the guy standing right next to you, is there a, a less written about, less spoken about potential starter for the Rams than Christian Roseman? What, what's he like, and how much does he want to be right there at your side? Man, I love it. I just love his journey. It hasn't always been easy for him, but he's truly made the best of every opportunity. And now I always tell him, like, he's getting his moment to shine, and I'm, I'm mm. proud of him. I'm super excited for him. And he's just consistent, man. You, you're going to get Christian Rose boom every day. He's going to come to work, and he's, he's, he's really impressive. I can't wait for him to lay his hat on a few people, too. Nice. Well, you talked about excitement and energy. There's been a bit of excitement and energy in your own personal life. Right. It sounds like there is a big congratulations coming your direction recently Definitely. engaged. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw the photos. That was a full setup. I mean, how much time did you actually spend on that proposal? I think it took me about two, three months on that proposal. Wow. But it was it was tough <laughs> keeping it from her because she's she's all up everywhere. So, but I enjoyed doing it. I love her, and I'm I'm super excited and great that we got it done. How many roses were in that setup? Oh, Do you Martha. know the count? I, I couldn't <laughs> tell you. All she wanted was roses, though. She loved roses, so I had to make sure they were there. Has anyone on staff or any of the guys around you given you early marriage advice? They always do, but it's not always the best from some of the guys. They, they joke a lot. So. <laughs> Who's given you the worst or maybe the best? Let's go with the best piece the of best advice. The best would probably be, um, be Coach Mush. I mean, not Coach Muschamp, Coach uh, McVay and um, Coach Shula. They've always given me great advice, just telling me um, – just how to handle things and that she's always right. <laughs> and then some of, the, some of the fellas like to joke just a little too far, like to say your life's over with, that type of stuff. But <laughs> I'm just impressed. Two months in the making, that's quite a game plan. Right. Well executed? She, definitely. She had no idea. I had told her we were going to a gala, and that's why we were all dressed up, but it turned into a, a proposal. Well, I know you didn't ask me, but here's one bit of advice that I'll offer you. Talk to me. Your part is done. You did all the planning <laughs> oh, for the engagement. <laughs> did great. Turn the keys over. That's true. It's Just say yes way. from here on out. That's, it. <laughs> that's great. He has to plan two months, and she gets what? Maybe a year to that wedding. Whew, that's a lot of work. Definitely. But She's already been stressed about it. Ernest, thanks so much for joining us here on Inside Rams Camp, presented by Unify Financial Credit Union.